Welcome to another lockdown weekly vlog. I'm going to say weekly, but it is actually, what is it? Thursday. Put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the Thursday the 11th of June, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm just about to go and get the kids up for breakfast. I figured I would start the vlog, otherwise, like if I don't start it now, it's just going to get ridiculous. I'm not going to start it at all, all week. And I've just realised that my face kind of matches my top as well. <laughs> Oh, I've just had a shower. Just had a shower. We are going on a work, a work, a walk early, half seven this morning. So I need to go and get these kids and um, give them breakfast before we go. <clears throat> it's been, what's it been around here? Pretty mental, to be honest. Lots has been going on, um, fostering wise and, well, fostering wise. <laughs> really, um, I do still have the two with me. It's just been just a little bit chaotic to be honest the last uh, week or so and sort of stressful isn't mm, has it been stressful yeah a little bit stressful at points um hopefully we're gonna sort of settle down now still got the two with me which i mean two under like 18 months or so it's, it's sort of gonna be a little bit chaotic isn't it but we're just carrying on as normal, I've had an email, Stephen was potentially due, he's in year 10, Stephen was potentially due back at school next Monday, but I had a, an email yesterday, I let off the head to say that that's not happening in our uh, local authority. I'm not sure if it's happening around the country, but for Stephen, it's definitely not happening next week. They're going to plan, I think they'll just keep looking to do it like the following week and see what the, what the situation is with COVID. Um, who knows we have got our first the first time we're doing anything other than and i say it quite often that all we've done is like go on walks and things that is all we've done we've gone on local walks like from our house and supermarket that's all we've done and this weekend we've got our first trip out i'm so excited we're going to our local like national trust places and they've all started opening up and everything haven't they and wwt they've started opening up and we're members of those and so we're going to go to our local i forget what it stands for like wet, wet wetland fowl wild fowl trust i don't know actually i never know what it stands for but it is like there's ducks and things there flamingos and ducks and stuff um it's like a big marshy area with swans and all sorts of things so we're going to do that this weekend that's the like that is the first thing that we've done so i'm super excited for that but i'm gonna go and get these kids because otherwise it's gonna get late and our walk will be late and yeah let's let's go get them up oh start the day oh thank you very much is that all you want well i've just been up to get them one child's still asleep and i don't know about you but walk or no walk i am not waking a child up in the morning <laughs> no way Can I have your breakfast oh it smells of banana Get some more. Whoa. Where are they? Whack, whack, whack. Oh, should we just walk through the flowers? It's nice through the flowers. I feel like I'm somewhere completely different when I walk through it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a nice walk. Doing well on the old Fitbit. Activity levels today are very well for this time. 11,000 steps, like 20 past nine or so. No gel this morning. We got back just in time to start it, but like, like I've been for a run this morning, like only like a two kilometer run, but I've been for a run this morning. We've been for like just an hour walk. I feel like all of that, like, and then do to Joe before half nine. That's like, it's a bit of a lot. So I think maybe I might do it later on. Didn't bother this morning. Lara's gone up to work. Stephen isn't up yet. See, he's not been getting up till about half past 10, just in the last week or so, which I kind of just left. Um, I may start saying he has to get up early, but I mean, is it really important if he get, he's getting all his work done and he's getting stuff done? I don't know how much it really matters. Um, other than the fact that he's not joining in with Joe when we do it, which <clears throat> I really enjoyed it. And he quite enjoyed it as well, doing Joe, so I don't know, we'll see. But for now, he's not getting up, so we're just going to have a little play, I guess. I don't really know what we're going to do. <laughs> in some very exciting news this week, when did it arrive? Maybe Monday or Tuesday? I've wanted one of these things for so long, like years and years and years, and they're ridiculously expensive. But me and Lara, well, 
yeah, me and Laura decided that we, like, we've both got our birthdays come up. Mine's at the end of June, Laura's at the beginning of July. And we thought we'd get it as like a household thing, um, like birthday present, like to each other and like off each other and stuff. And so, let me show you what I got. It's currently got a green smoothie in it that I've just made. It is da -da, a Vitamix. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. We got a refurbished, like old one off the Vitamix website that like you can get ones that are like, obviously like, I don't even know, £700 or something, maybe 650 or something, just ridiculous. We couldn't justify that amount of money, but we could justify that we paid £320 for this one. We could kind of just, just about justify £320 for this one, which is a refurbed, refurbed, reconditioned one off off the website and so far like i've used it for like some green smoothies and various like other little bits of sauces and things because like whenever i was made anything i always had to use let me show you my little magic bullet thing that's in there and like that was the size of the thing and it was just ridiculous whenever i was trying to make anything it was a joke it wasn't big enough and it wasn't fast enough like this is the first like high speed blender that I've ever had and oh my goodness it's so amazing to be able to make a smoothie that's got kale in and to not have to like chew on bits of kale it's wonderful I absolutely love it I'm so glad that we finally did um we finally did get it I like I feel like honestly it might be something that we'll use more or less every single day so I can kind of justify the price and also I'm forcing Stephen that he has to eat more greens and he can either eat them we can have them in a smoothie in the morning and so far he's not minding the smoothies you need to you have more greens in his diet that kid good morning you're just in time for your green smoothie it smells nice it smells nice i don't know protein powder in today i've just had it but i think it's probably a bit too green for you so i've been trying to add some stuff to make it a bit sweeter yay we have success steven likes it i added a banana it's added quite a bit of sweetness, so he's happy with that. I'm happy with that. It is Saturday morning, and I'm looking forward to the weekend. Me and Lara, with the kids, Stephen didn't come with us. We've just been on, like, an 8K walk in the local countryside, just from the house. Really nice. Kids behaved themselves for, like, we were out for, like, a while, and they were both really good. I know a lot of people have been getting into bread making, haven't they, in lockdown? And we have done it a little bit. We struggled to get yeast, but we've now got yeast. We did a couple of loaves last week that, I mean, they're not wonderful. We're just experimenting a bit with our bread making um, skills. They're not very high, to be honest. <laughs> but we're going to go make some bread. We're going to try to some, put some buckwheat flour in it that I've just got knocking about. And we're also going to make some hummus in the new Vitamix because apparently hummus in the Vitamix is delicious and creamy and I'll be so much nicer than any other homemade hummus that I've ever made before. So that's what we're doing now. This is the recipe that we're using. Although we've not got whole wheat flour, so we're using just strong bread flour or whatever it's called. It's very sticky. It's very sticky, isn't it? Do you think you need more flour? Yeah. The reason we're making this, I you will never find me needing <laughs> bread. I just haven't got the inclination or the time. I don't ever want to need bread, but Laura quite likes it, so. But it's not necessarily quite this sticky bed. More flour. Yeah. Right. Laura's finished kneading it. Whilst I was seeing to the kids, let's have a little yeah, peek in there. Now to leave it for an hour. Somewhere warm. Should we just cut the grass? Got Is it dry? Long. It's very long. Pick it back up, please. Are you ready? It's going to be loud. Cut, cut, cut. Cut all the grass, it's maiden voyage. <laughs> it's maiden voyage, the first time. Using our lawnmower. Look at our bed. It's risen. It's risen. It's as huge as huge can be. I don't, I don't even know why it's risen quite so much. Maybe the Here sugar and the white flower. Whoa. It's like filled out completely. Put it in the oven now with yeah. the with tea. It's, it's like, oh, I, I was just going to say, do you think it's, we've made it like too hot? Maybe. Oh, we're learning, we're learning, it's fine, it's fine. Yay! <laughs> so, it's a little while later, it's a bit, honestly, I was expecting, well, the forecast early on in the week was like horrible weather, I was expecting some horrible weather this weekend, and I think we're still due it tomorrow, but it's been glorious. 
Me and Laura have been sat outside all afternoon. Our bread has just gone in the oven. Has it gone in the oven? Did I just put it in the oven? Yes, I did. Just put it in the oven. I am making tea. We're having polenta and I don't really know to be honest, it's a bit of a thrown together type of tea. Kids had a lovely long sleep in the afternoon. I've got to be honest and say it's really nice when they do have a nice sleep. We we had planned, to be honest, we had what Stephen came downstairs about three o'clock to see about watching the show, the shows must go on. It's the I don't know actually know what it's called, but like the Wizard of Oz, like the the Wiz. I think it's called. I don't know to be honest what it's called, but because it was so nice, like Stephen came down, like should we watch it? We tend to like when the kids are asleep and that's when we'll go and watch it. And like halfway through the kids will get up, but it was so nice outside. We're like, no, we'll just, we'll see tomorrow. We think, I think tomorrow is due like rain and horribleness. So we'll maybe watch it tomorrow, but we'll just see. Just took our loaf out and oh my goodness, it's boiling. It doesn't look much and I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I have not the knowledge. That's my finger. <laughs> Check. It could be a good one. Ah, oh. uh, you shouldn't really cut bread hot, but we're gonna cut a slice off and just to see what it's like. Curiosity. Oh, oh. I mean, it's oh. Let me show you. Let me show you. Ow, so hot. But wow, it's a little bit wet. I think maybe. I think maybe the oven temperature was wrong. It's the next day. I'm crap at this vlog and stuff at the moment i just kind of forget halfway through a day but oh my goodness the lightning last night we were sat in the garden and like a proper like storm just rolled in i only picked up my camera like right at the end i didn't even think to we were just like watching it it was crazy wasn't it steven and then we're watching it from steven's bedroom so like just it just kept rumbling around us for ages and so much lightning and it was pretty cool but we have just got ready we're going on our first our very first day out since when beginning of march before lockdown we're going i'm so excited to get to get out somewhere we've packed a picnic we're just getting everyone in the car and we are going to like a local um wetland center basically lots of ducks and things there but don't even care i'm so excited just to get out and do something we booked our tickets because we're members of it we booked our tickets last week i think middle 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 of last week so obviously at the moment everywhere's doing tickets for social distancing and things and limiting how many people are coming in so today is our day I'm so excited to do something just so excited i can't tell you oh look we've missed you we're really pleased to welcome you back yeah. well we're in <laughs> it seems really weird like obviously they've got certain things in place whatever they've got like a one-way system and stuff and but it's really quiet there's like well, it's easy to social distance anyway. And the animals have all gone well. Yeah, 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 the ducks have gone a little bit crazy, I think, because of not having people seeing them for months. But it's nice, and the weather is glorious. I thought it was going to piss down all day, but it's lovely. Look at this little duck. It's going to run away, yeah. I've never seen a duck that looked like that, looks like that before. I did. Did you? I've never seen it. No, I obviously wasn't. <laughs> I've got part of it that's closed. I don't really know like what is in these parts, but certain bits we can't go to. That's fine. Push. No hands needed. Push. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. What is it? Baby. Where? Wow. Oh yeah, baby wren things. Oh, look at these big black swans. Hello. Look at this biggest. I was just saying how huge it was, and Stephen was like, "Yep, yeah, it's the biggest big bug hotel. It's huge." Okay. Oh, you've fallen over. Can you see him? Turn around. Turn around, love. See him. Look. 
Say hello. Say, come closer. Father, uh, come closer. Ooh. He's staring at us. I wouldn't like to get a peck off him. He's got a big beak. Discovery hide. Whoa. There's no one in here. It is quiet. I wonder how many people are letting in because there's not very many people around at all. Yeah. What do you say, sorry, Stephen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, poo on the... <laughs> oh, look at the empty playground. Not today. Come back soon. Would you like to come back again? When more's open. Well, we're all done there. That was lovely just to do something a little bit different. Loads of it was closed, unfortunately, but we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We've just, uh, we, we bought a picnic, but we didn't have a picnic there because it was a bit early. Oops. To be honest, we weren't there that long, so we've just driven like five minutes away and we're going to do like a bit of a river walk or a canal, we're not sure, there's a river and a canal. We're going to have a little bit of a walk and just find somewhere to eat our picnic along probably the river, to be honest. We're at the river, but we can't walk this way with a buggy. We found the canal, this is a much better path to be walking along, so we'll walk a little bit and try and find a nice little picnic spot. There's cows and sheep. Mm. Oh, uh. you see them? Hello. Are you all hiding under the tree? What are you hiding from? Is it one car? We found a perfect little picnic spot, just right by the canal here. Here's our picnic. We've got some of our um, what's it called? Hummus. Hummus that we made and our bread that we made yesterday. It's a really successful loaf. Mm -hmm. If you found a way out, come seek me out. That was lovely. We finished our picnic. I think oh, we're going to have back rather than walk further. You want to go back? We're heading back now. We don't like this bridge. It's a wobbly, wobbly wonky, wobbly. horrible bridge. Makes go on. Us Makes us Yeah, it does. Makes us feel sick. If you, I think if you, know, if you know it, because it, it just shocked us, didn't it? Yeah. Unless I push it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's because Stephen's like, pop a tip in it. Oh, don't. <laughs> Don't, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like the... Um, oh, no, don't. I can't. Look at this guy just swimming along the canal. Hey, I don't you think... send his picture back to Martin Meehan and say he's in he's, yours. He's gone mental as well. He's like digging. happy. You think he's happy? excited to be. I'm excited to be out. Mm. I'm free. That was him now. He's just like... <laughs> Shoving his head under the water loads of times and then flapping his wings. Huh? Oh, he's coming over to us, so he might get us. Oh. That's the duck. That's the look. Oh, look at all the baby ducks. Can you see them? Oh, they're getting bigger. They're growing up. And that's the week over. Just like that, I've had a really nice weekend. The only thing we didn't do was we didn't watch The Wiz, the show thing. Stephen is just having a look now to see if he can like, I don't really understand what he's, he's trying to like get it because it runs out over the weekend, like you can only watch it on YouTube over the weekend, but he's trying to like screen record his iPad so we can at least watch it maybe tomorrow afternoon, I'm not sure, I don't know why we didn't watch it this afternoon to be honest, time just sort of got away by the time we got back and I don't know, but oh my goodness it was so nice to get out today, hopefully. We can start doing a few more little things like that at the weekend. Um, it was just nice, like I said, it was like the first time we've done anything since like beginning of March, other than just like walks from our house. So it was oh, so nice, it was so nice. And we're so lucky around here that we've got a lot of um, like countryside and quite open space and so we can 
distance ourselves from people when we go out and stuff so definitely I think we're going to start incorporating probably not during the week because obviously Stephen's got school and Lara's working and everything but at the weekends we're going to incorporate more like driving somewhere like not too far at the moment um we're still very cautious about what we what we're doing um but yeah not too far so like maybe you know, like 20 minutes drive or so and just go on like river walks and things and just do some different stuff other than just walks around by our house it's honestly it's put me in such a good mood it's oh it's been so nice it was honestly so it was so 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 nice i can't even explain to you how much that was i mean you probably you go and see yourself so <laughs> i don't need to tell you about you know what it's like being stuck at home and not doing anything we're all going through it but uh yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching i hope you've had a wonderful week whatever you have been getting up to and i will see you next week <laughs>